41 things you may not know about the Gravitrex Power Switch and Trigger Element Box. Brought to you by Ravensburger and the Masked Marble. Watch to the end to see some creative ideas for using these elements. Here we go. Inside the box, you'll find the Power Switch and Trigger. This set is an add-on expansion, so you need a Gravitrax starter set to use it. The switch and trigger element box adds power capabilities to your regular unpowered Gravitrax sets without having to buy an entire Gravitrax power starter set. There are no marbles in the box. This means that about the only thing you can do with the contents of the box by themselves is play Mary Had a Little Lamb on the power switch. Or use the switch as a very bad metronome. Or combine it with the Power Dome Starter Element and Beatbox. When a marble goes through the trigger, the trigger sends a wireless signal to activate the power switch or any other power receiver elements which are set to the same color as the trigger. Both the power switch and trigger can be set to one of three wireless channels, red, green, or blue. The LED button displays the color of the currently selected wireless channel. Press the LED button one time to turn on a power element. Power elements default to the red channel when turned on. A second press of the LED button changes the selected channel from red to green. A third press of the LED button changes the selected channel from green to blue. A fourth press of the LED button turns the power element off. Power elements also turn themselves off automatically after 10 minutes. If an element turns itself off, it will remember its selected color channel and retain that color when it is turned back on. However, if the element is manually turned off, then the red channel will be selected when turned back on. The switch can also be turned back on by pressing the green switch button. When the power switch is turned off, the first press of the green button will only turn it back on, not toggle the switch. Once the power switch is turned on, pressing the green button will toggle the switch. If the trigger is turned off, running a marble through it will turn it back on and simultaneously transmit a wireless signal. This means you don't need to turn on the triggers before using them. The trigger is only a transmitting element. It does not receive wireless signals from other triggers. The switch is only a receiving element. It does not transmit signals to other power elements. Other receiving elements in the Gravitrax power line include the power dome starter and lever. The trigger is designed to be bi-directional. Marbles can go through in either direction to activate the trigger. This is different from the power finish trigger, which works better in the forward direction. The only difference in these triggers is the finish trigger cover has these cutouts. The set takes three AAA batteries, two for the switch and one for the trigger. A marble that is too fast or too slow may not activate the trigger, but most marble speeds will work. I even got it to work right after a magnetic cannon. Unlike the regular Gravitrax switch, marbles will not toggle the power switch. All marbles will go in the same direction until the wireless power trigger toggles the power switch in the other direction. If you happen to have the Gravitrax power remote, it can also be used to activate the power switch. Unlike the original Gravitrax switch, multiple marbles won't get stuck in the power switch. An entire line of marbles can go through without creating a log jam. The switch can toggle even in the middle of a line of marbles. A line of fast marbles running through the trigger can cause the switch to fall behind. You can manually reposition the power switch and it will continue to toggle correctly the next time it is activated. It is not possible to shoot a marble backwards through the power switch. The switch is also a marble accelerator because its input is two height tiles higher than the exits. Now I'm going to show you some creative ways to use the elements from the Gravitrax Power Switch and Trigger Element Box. Place the trigger after the switch to make a one-way switch. The first marble will go in one direction, but all other marbles will go in the other direction. Perform basic if-then programming in your marble run. If a marble goes through the trigger in one part of the track, then it will toggle the switch to reroute marbles in another area of the track. Even out marble races by giving the second marble a shortcut if the first marble gets too far ahead by placing a trigger a little ways after the switch. If the second marble is far enough behind, the switch will reroute it to the shortcut track so it can catch up. 
Reward the first marble that arrives at the trigger by placing the power switch further back to block trailing marbles or cause them to enter a trap or obstacle. You can use the power switch to launch a marble. And that's 41 secrets of the Gravitrax power switch and trigger elements.